Thank you, welcome to the show. And I must say, I'm having a fabulous time as presenter of Chain Letters, but what I really want to do is be a director, because our director is so rich. In fact, he's so rich, he gets Vidal Sassoon to cut his lawn, which I think is pretty good. <laughs> and he wrote to Father Christmas this Christmas and said, um, Father Christmas, what can I get you for Christmas this year? <laughs> so there you go. OK, we've got three contestants. What we're going to try to do is make them as rich as possible. We'll give them a couple of simple questions. They answer, we throw money at them. It's fabulous. Come on, follow me. Come on. <laughs> Wendy. Now, Wendy, someone just said to me, just ask her about her life, because it sounds so fascinating. So, Wendy, tell me about your life. Um, at the moment, I run a pub restaurant in Cookham Dean, okay. in On The Green. OK. Um, I have two children. OK. I used to be a bluebell girl dancer. <laughs> I think I'm in love, by the way. Pub dancer, yeah. <laughs> I write songs. And it's, when you were a dancer, it's at, it's at Paris, isn't it, Bluebells? Paris for a year and a half. I was okay. in Las Vegas for five years. Fantastic. Portugal, Wonderful. Italy. Great, marvellous. Well, um, that's the end of the show. Uh, <laughs> me and Wendy are just going to... Well, uh, what can I say? Have a marvellous game. I hope you do very well and I hope you make vast amounts of money. Thank and you. then you can, I don't know, just go out and buy someone champagne and I'm not doing anything tonight, so... <laughs> yeah, okay. Ladies and gentlemen, Wendy! Yeah. Glenn, nice to meet you. Now, what do you do for a living, Glenn? I work for a large American pharmaceutical company. OK. Um, last year, I actually got to meet, meet the Queen when she came to the site. Her Majesty? Mm. What was that like? Um, well, she asked me a question. Just opened my mouth to give her the answer, and by that time, she was on to the next person. So, <laughs> I never really found I just, out. No, I just... Because I've actually met her, and uh, I was a bit confused, because... I mean, you only ever see the Queen's head on, like, stamps, so everyone else was, like, shaking hands, and I just licked the back of her neck. I don't know why, but there you go. <laughs> well, we'll make up for your disappointment not seeing her by giving you as much money as possible. Is right. that OK with you? Yep. Lovely. Great, excellent. Ladies and gentlemen, Glenn! <laughs> Kathy, nice to meet you. Now, tell me what you do for a living. You really want to know. I'm a, uh, I'm, um, a police officer. Sorry, I'm sorry, I'm sorry already. No, I know, it's wonderful because... Now, tell me, because again, some, one of my researchers says you're going for something quite interesting in the police force, and I've never heard about this before. Tell me about this. I'm hoping to go. I've got an interview at the end of the month to go to the Cayman Islands. Is that what that's about? Yes. Now, explain, explain what happens well, in Well, fingers crossed. Everybody have everything crossed for me. I've got an interview. Um, two years. They, what happens is the Cayman Islands send across to Britain because it's a, it's a British colony. They send across to us and ask us if we want to go out there. And, of course, the answer's got to be yes, hasn't it? So, so I've um, got an interview. So basically you just patrol on the beat, but you do it in, in the Cayman Islands? Yes. What a terrible job I know, a it's going to be hellish, it? but uh, I'm sure I can get through okay, well, if so I get the job. Send us a postcard anyway. We'll, we'll yes. give you some money to sort of help you for great. your trip. Okay. Thank you. Ladies and gentlemen, Kathy. Yes, it's that time again. It's time for the first game. Come on. Chain, 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 yes. Wordsworth, our computer's going to come up with four hidden words. Our contestants have to just look up and pick one of them. They do that. They then have 45 seconds to make the longest chain possible by changing one letter at a time. If they're successful, I'll happily give them five pounds for every correct word. Now, just to make it a bit more spicy, a bit more interesting, do remember a couple of rules. Three, four, five rules, actually. No plurals or proper nouns. Every single word must be in Chambers English Dictionary. And you're not allowed to land on the same letter twice in a row. So what I want you to do is to say the letter, say the word, and spell the word. OK? We're going to start off now. There's one, two, three, four up there. They're just waiting to be chosen by you, Wendy. Which one would you like? Number three, please. We're going to go for number three. The word is SALT, S-A-L-T. You have 45 seconds and your time begins now. Right, change the T to an E, um, S-A-L-E, sail. Change the S to a B, B-A-L-E, bail. Change the L to an N, B-A-N-E, bane. Change the A to an O, B-O-N-E, bone. Change the B to an L, L-O-N-E, loan. Change the O to an A, L-A-N-E, lane. Change the um, N to a C, L-A-C-E, lace. Change the L to an R, R-A-C-E, race. Change the A to an I, R-I-C-E, nice. Change up, right. Change the R to an N, N-I-C-E, nice. Um, change the C to a T, N-I-T-E, night. Change the I to an O, N-O-T-E, note. N to an M, M-O-T-E, moat. O to an A, M-A-T-E, mate. T to an N, M-A-N-E, <laughs> 70 pounds! 
<laughs> Exceptional. Fast on your feet and fast with words as well. Well done. Now, take a deep breath now. You can relax for a few minutes. Glenn, it's your go. Glenn, number one, number two or number four? What would you like? Um, I'll try number one, please. Getting off for number one, your word is yelt. Y-E-L-T. And we all know what that means, don't we? No. no. <laughs> hey. Words worth our computer tells you it means a young sow. S-O-W. OK, yelt. Glenn, 45 seconds. Your time begins now. I'll change Y to an F, felt, F-E-L-T. Change the T to an L, felt, F-E-L-L. -L. Change the F to a T, tell, T-E-L-L. -L. Change the E to an A, tall, T-A-L-L. -L. Change the T to a B, ball, B-A-L-L. -L. Change the A to an E, bell, B-E-L-L. -L. Change the last L to a T, belt, B-E-L-T. Change the... L to an N, bent, B-E-N-T. Change the B to a D, dent, D-E-N-T. Change the E to a O, don't, D-O-N-T. Change the T to an E, done, D-O-N-E. Change the O to an I, dine, D-I-N-E. Change the D to an F, fine, F-I-N-E. Change the N to an L, file, F-I-L-E. And change the F to a B, vile, B-I-L-E. Did you get the last one? We'll see. 75 pounds! <laughs> it's gonna be a tough game this one, I can see it. Yeah. Kathy, two words left. Number two, number four. Number four? Number four, your word is brim. B R I M. You have 45 seconds, your time begins now. Change the B to a T, trim, T R I M. Change the I to an A, tram, T R A M. Change the M to a P, trap, T R A P. Change the. Change the. Change the. A to an I, trip, T R I P, change the T to a C, crip, C R I P, change change the I, change the P to a D, trip, T R I D, change the I to an O, trop, T R O P, change the T to a C, crip, C R I P, change the P to a N, Trin. No problems, five words. 25 pounds. And I always like that, because occasionally people just make up their own words. They always <laughs> think it's great. Which is why Wordsworth refused quite a few of those. OK, let's see the scores at the end of the first round. Third position, 25 pounds, is Kathy. In second position, after a marvellous first start, with £70 is Wendy. But in the lead at the moment, after a slightly better first start, with £75 is Glenn. <laughs> Which means, of course, Glenn, you get to go first in the booby trap round. So, hurrah. Yes. Great. Up ahead of you, B-O-R-E, bore, flat, hail and rink, R-I-N-K. Glenn, would you like to choose one of those words, please? Um, rink, please. OK, R-I-N-K. What you have to do now, look at the word, choose a particular letter, decide which letter you want to take out to replace with one of your own and come up with a new word for which I'll give you £10. Which letter, please? I'll change the R, please. You're going to get rid of the R. OK, Wendy, Cathy, you know what you have to do. This is unusual for you, Cathy, we're going to have to steal here. All you have to do is think what Glenn is thinking, take the word, write it down on your screens and you get his money. OK, you have ten seconds and your time begins now. Glenn, ten I'll pounds. I'll change it to an F, think, F-I-N-K. Glenn, just got yourself ten pounds. <laughs> and Wordsworth, our computer tells me, think, F-I-N-K. I know it's slang, I think, but it's actually, it says a strike breaker, which I think is quite interesting. So there you go. Now, Glenn, you got your money. You can gamble, you can stay where you are. What do you want to do? Yeah, I'll go again, please. <laughs> Good, in a deep voice, that was. Yep, well, I'll again. gamble. OK, for £20, your second new word is... I change it to a W, wink, W-I-N-K. I don't think you're allowed to steal as a, as a policewoman, are you, Cathy? But so you have... Sorry. Oh, you did. <laughs> sorry. What a nice apology. So sorry. OK, Wendy, your go. Three words up there. Which one would you like to go for? Hail. H-A-L-E. Hail and hearty, which obviously you are. You're going to change one of the letters. Which one would you like to change? The H, please. The initial, OK. <laughs> Glenn, Kathy, you know what you have to do. That, that letter H is sitting there. You're going to come up with a new word. You have ten seconds to guess what's going on in Wendy's mind, and your time begins now. <laughs> uh, 
OK, Wendy, for £10, your new word is... Change the H to a K. Kale. And you just got yourself £10. <laughs> Kale, K-A-L-E, meaning a variety of cabbage. There you go. OK, now you've got the money, what are you going to do? You're going to gamble? gamble. <laughs> gamble. <laughs> That's a go wild, woman. OK, you're going to gamble for £20. Your second new word is... Try Dale, D-A-L-E. And I think yeah. you just got yourself £20. <laughs> OK, £20, or do you want to go for 30 I'll have a go. There's no doubt in your mind, <laughs> is there? You're definitely going to go for it. OK, your third new word for the perfect round Gale. is... G-A-L-E. And you just got yourself £30. <laughs> so things start to get interesting now. OK, let's have a look at that board again. Two words left. Kathy, it's your go. Which one would you like to choose? I'll take, um boar. B O R E. And which letter would you like to change? I'll change the. Change the. Ooh, difficult decisions, I know, but. Um, the B. The B. After much, much care and Sorry. consideration, no problem. You're going to change the B, think hard about it. Wendy, Glenn, time to steal some money. You have 10 seconds. OK, your time begins now. Kathy, for £10, your new word is? Change the B to a C, core, C O R. That terrible, terrible woman, Wendy. Sorry. Who owns a pub? Uh, has taken your money away, which means the scores at the end of that particular round. In third position, £45 is Kathy. Just ahead of you, with £75 is Glenn. But leading at the moment, £110 is Wendy. They're going to warm up in the second half. They'll be fighting between them. We'll be playing Tide Leader. Also, we'll be playing Super Chain for £1,000. Go off, make yourself tea, coffee, come back soon. Bye for now. clap at anything. Thanks for the lesson, by the way. <laughs> Welcome back to the show. We've got a policewoman, we've got a quality inspector, and we've got a landlady. It's a nice pub, by the way. Oh, it's a lovely pub. And it's, just remind me again where it is. It's, the, it's in Cookham Dean. It's called the Inn on the Green. Good, excellent. Well, we hope you make lots of money, and uh, obviously if you do, you'll remember the host of the show. And well, everybody's invited for a drink. Well, there we go, <laughs> the whole audience. <laughs> and special, look, make it even better, the drinks are on Glen. Okay? <laughs> Sorry about that. OK, welcome back. We're going to play Add a Letter. What we do, we come up with a three-letter word for each of our contestants. They add a letter, make a four-letter word, we give them £5. They add another letter, we give them more money. It's as simple as that. Put your letter anywhere at the start or the finish in the middle. Same rules apply, though, you know, plurals, word out of Chambers English Dictionary. You'd be fine with it. When do we start with you? Because you're in the lead at the moment. Your three-letter word's going to pop up. My command, and there it is, K-I-N, kin. And your time begins now. Add a K, K I N K, kink. Just got yourself five pounds. <laughs> Add a Y, <laughs> K I N K Y, kinky. Yes, good word. <laughs> Just dress me. I don't think there's another one. <laughs> kinky, okay. I could try putting an S in front. Skinky. <laughs> yeah, try, come on, try. I love it. S K I N K Y? Yes, yeah, see what happens? <laughs> no. no. <laughs> <laughs> Never mind, not bad. You're still in the lead, so that's the important thing. Glenn, your three-letter word is going to come up for you. 
and it is E-R-E. -E. I'm not quite sure you pronounce it, but I'd say here. Yeah. So there you go. You have your time, well, your time. Whenever you want to start, just feel free. Go for it. Um, put an H in front here, H-E-R-E. -E. Get yourself five pounds. Uh, T in front of the H there, T-H-E-R-E. -E. Yes. Ten pounds. Um, I'll try an S on the end there, T-H-E-R-E-S. -E Let's see now. Words where Jerry doesn't like S's, we'll see what he says. <coughs> and he says no, he just he doesn't like them at all. Never mind. OK, Kathy in third position, but going to catch up. I know. Kathy, three-letter word. B-I-T. Take the bit. OK, your time begins now. Put an E on the end, B-I-T-E, bite. Got yourself five pounds. Put, let's try an R on the end, B-I-T-E-R, biter. Wordsworth says yes, ten pounds. Let's try another T in the middle, B-I-T-T-E-R, bitter. Yes, I think that one will work. Fifteen pounds. And I'll put... Just try an N on the end. B I T T E R N bitten. Twenty pounds. Perfect round. <laughs> and by the way, bitten B I T T E R N. Wordsworth, our computer tells me, means a marsh bird of the heron family. So there you go. And I just noticed, by the way, because I was talking to Kathy, I've started going into policeman mode. <laughs> okay. The scores at the end of that round in third position with sixty-five pounds is Kathy. In second position, let me just glance over here, with £85 is Glenn. Still leading at the moment, £120 is Wendy. <laughs> OK, a magical round indeed, because at the end of this particular round, one of our contestants goes forward to play Super Chain for £1,000. Wendy, Glenn or Cathy, keep your fingers crossed for yourselves. OK, Wordsworth, give me a five-letter word, please. Thank you, very trusting indeed. T-R-U-S-T, -T, trust. Give me a plus. Give me a minus. Thank you. And on your way, Wordsworth. There you go. Wordsworth will go travelling, contestants. He'll stop at some point. He'll land on a letter. I want you to change it and come up with a new word. If he lands on a plus, I want you to add a letter. If he lands on a minus, I want you to take a letter away. Also, Wordsworth will tell you what the word is actually worth. It's either £10, £20, £30, or... Oh, Maybe it will be tied the lead in which case you match your score with whoever's in the lead at that particular moment. Obviously, it's when we 120, but it's a close enough game for anyone to catch up. Take your fingers, put them on the buzzers, get ready. Open your minds, your ears and your eyes. Big smiles, and here we go. Good indication that the rot has set in. This time, it's Wendy for £20. Uh, take off the T, R-U-S-T, rust. You just got yourself £20, you go further into the lead. One way to get the king off his throne. <laughs> Wendy, £30. Change the R to an O, oust, O-U-S-T. You oust the king, that's spot on. <laughs> it involved a charge for the night. This time it's Glenn for £20. Add a J, joust, J-O-U-S-T. You gave £20, you hit the £100 mark. Like William and the Four Men, to be fair. This time it's Wendy for £10. Take away the O, just, J-U-S-T. The magical just William, yep. <laughs> it will have your hat off. This time it's Glenn, £20. Uh, change it to a G, Gus, G-U-S-T. A gust of wind, there you go. <laughs> what the old geezer does. Glenn, £30. Change the T to an H, gush, G-U-S-H. You've got it, you go up to 155. 65, 155, 180. It's the favourite word of the midwife. <laughs> Wendy, £10. Oh, um... Sorry, it's gone. No, nope. Glenn, Kathy. Glenn for £10. Change the G to a P, push, P-U-S-H. <laughs> It can mean wall-to-wall -wall luxury. This time it's Wendy to consolidate your lead. Add an L, P-L-U-S-H, plush. That's the one. You consolidate your lead. Still 180, 165, 65. <laughs> Embarrassingly, it could be a sign. This time it's Kathy to tie the lead. Change the P to a B, blush, B-L-U-S-H. Kathy just tied the lead with Wendy. 
He's very sweet when he's had a drink. Wendy. Take away the B, L-U-S-H, Lush. You've got it right, you consolidate your lead, still 180 each. You could get romantic if you eat this meal. This time it's Wendy again on title lead. Uh, Mash, L to an M, M U S H. That's Mash. right, you're still, still there, up there with Kathy, 180 each. It's a brew served at a field hospital. This time it's Glenn for £20. Uh, change U to an A, Mash, M A S H. That's right, you get your money, 185. <laughs> you could be in it up to your neck. This time it's Glenn for thirty pounds. Change the H to an S, Mass. No. no. Wendy, thirty pounds. Oh, add an R, M A R S H, Marsh. I don't know if it was a guess, but it was spot on. Yeah, thirty pounds, two hundred and ten. <laughs> there goes the buzzer at the end of the round. Let's have a look at the scores. In third position, one hundred and eighty pounds is Kathy. Second position, one hundred and eighty-five pounds is Glenn. But today's winner over the £200 mark with £210 is Wendy. <laughs> Kathy, the most important thing, you've got yourself lots of money, so obviously you enjoy. Thank you. But no, I just hope you get to go away so to the Cayman I. Islands because it'll be Thanks. fabulous. But we keep all our fingers crossed. Thank for you. you. Ladies and gentlemen, Kathy. <laughs> Glenn, you did very well in that one, £185, which you're just going to spend wildly on... I'll spend all that tonight. <laughs> <laughs> so, anyway, audience, myself, Glenn and you will all be going out to the pub, I think. So there you go. <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, let's hear it for Glenn. <laughs> well, I don't know what it was like to be on the stage in Paris or in Las Vegas, but tonight she's going to be on this stage trying to get £1,000 in Super Chain. Ladies and gentlemen, let's hear it for Wendy. <laughs> Well done, congratulations. <laughs> now just... Super and it's up there, the fortune just waiting to be taken. OK, Wendy, we're going to play Super Chain. What we're going to do, Wordsworth is going to come up with a four-letter word. Every time he lands on a letter, I want you to change it, make a new word, and we'll give you £50 if you're correct. Now, if you can get ten new words in 60 seconds, we give you £1,000 to add to your score. Now, your time begins when Wordsworth stops on the very first letter. Right. OK. If you get caught in an array, not sure what to do, just say pass and he'll move on. OK. OK. Wordsworth, can I have the word, please? The word is D-U-R-E. At this point, I just wish you the very, very best of luck. Wordsworth, are you ready? Go. Change the D to a P, a pure P-U-R-E. Change the U to an A, pair, P-A-R-E. Change the R to an L, P-A-L-E, pale. E to an L, P-A-L-L, -L, Paul. Uh, P to an M, mall, M-A-L-L. -L. A to an I, mill, M-I-L-L. -L. Pass. L to an E, mile, M-I-L-E. M to an F, file, F-I-L-E. I to an A, fail, F-A-L-E, no. <coughs> L to an N, fine, F-I-N-E. E to a D, find, F-I-N-D. <laughs> <laughs> this is a dance of joy, I think. <laughs> Wendy, fantastic. You got £1,000. Yes, you have. <laughs> we're going to take your score, we're going to add it to the £1,000 if you look at the screen. For Wendy, just for you, £1,210. <laughs> Brilliant. <laughs> Not only is Wendy won lots of money, but I know a pub I can get free drinks for the rest of my life, don't I? Yeah, well, no, nearly. I so, nearly. OK. <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, hope you enjoyed the show. We hope to see you all very, very shortly, very soon. So I won't be playing Super Chain for more money. £1,000, or we just throw it away. Thanks again. Bye for now. Take care. <laughs> well, very good. Yeah.